Hello there. Um, this video is going to show you how to export up to three months of um, economic Forex data or news release data from the MyFX book website. Um, we're doing this video because uh, this data is used in a few of our products. So this is a demonstration to show you how to get it. So the first thing you need to do is go to myfxbook.com, create an account. You just go into at the top here, I'm already registered as Danjo. So you just create an account, log in. Once you're logged in, navigate to this uh, at the top here, which is myfxbook.com. Um, EN, or just put Forex Economic Calendar. You should be able to find it easy enough anyway under one of these uh, menus here. I can't remember where it was, but you'll find it. It's not a problem. OK, but we'll put a link at the bottom of this YouTube channel so you can actually just click on it and go straight to it. OK, once you're looking at the calendar, um, I'm going to show you how to export the data. So you can either export by default. I think the data is given in is as one day, uh, one week's worth of data. So if you want three months worth of data, you just go under the custom um, button at the top there, click on it. And then here you can see it's the 22nd to the 25th. Actually, it's just one day's worth of data. So click on there and then do today's date, which is the 23rd, and then click on the next one and go forward three months, April, May, June to the 23rd. Where are we? OK, so that's three months worth of data. Then I click on the filter button. Now it's filtered and it's given me three months worth of data to actually uh, download. Now, the next thing I need to do is to download the file. But before I do that, it will remember uh, the fact that you've set this filter. I'm hope I think it does. So when you log in next time, it will remember. If it doesn't, just put in the values again. Um, before I finish, before I'm going to show you how to actually um, download the data, I'm just going to do one thing, which is very important. It's just to make sure that the date time that you're displaying on here is going to be the same as your PC date time. So an example would be this high impact news release. It's uh, April 23rd at 0300, 0300 hours. Okay. Now, if your date time was say in my case GMT, but somewhere else it's going to be uh, plus UTC plus two hours or something like that. It would be two hours off. So to make sure they're using the same uh, that your so your date and time are correct, just go to your account up here. Go to settings, and it should come back to my settings in a minute. Click on the portfolio tab at the top. Come down here and you'll see it's got time zone. You can select by default. It might already have it actually. It might have used my local PC time. Um, if it doesn't and it has set time manually and it has something completely different, make sure you have used my local time. Okay, that's that. I'm going to go back to the calendar now. And I'm going to show you how to download the data. Now, this is the easy bit. So once you've got all that set up, and to download the data in the future, you don't have to go through all of that again, unless it doesn't remember the three month uh, date range that I just put in previously. All you need to do is to click on the more button here. It's just here, highlight it again. Then it will come up with all high impact, medium impact and low impact. You can deselect or select which ones you want. You can select all the symbols and just have the ones you want. And all you do then is you click on the CSV link there and you download the CSV file. OK, I downloaded the CSV file onto my desktop because I've got Excel installed. You can just open up Excel and you can actually read the data. Now you can use the data for anything you want. So if you're watching this video and you're not using our products, and you just want to know how to export it. Um, the data is there. It's the raw data that you can do with what you want. But we use this data um, in our trading systems. Um, so this video is just to show people how to get that data. And then other videos that we've got will actually show you how to actually import it into our products. That's the video. Thank you very much. If you like the video, uh, yeah, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you.